Yeah, when I think of Sarah, the first thing I think of is that the year that she placed second indoors at Nationals in the 1500 meter run, she was injured. She, she had knee issues, I think pretty consistently throughout her career. And so that particular indoor national meet, she had done the majority of her training in the swimming pool. She wasn't even able to run. Now, as a distance runner, you need to be on the ground running to be able to do well, to run at your, you know, at the level that you're capable of running. Uh, she wasn't able to do that because her knees were giving her trouble. So she did a lot of running in the pool, um, and and it didn't really. She didn't really stress out about it, or at least it didn't seem to me that she was stressed out about it. She just took it as a thing that was, and she got in as good a shape as she could get, and she went to nationals, and she, she placed second. And no excuses. She's like, I'm good enough to do this, and she just showed up and did it despite, you know, the adversity that she had during the area in, in track and field. Uh, in cross country, she was an All-American her senior year. And I was technically the cross country coach, but I didn't really know very much about cross country. And again, it's a situation where a really good athlete might be stressed out. It's like, what is this? You know, it's a brand new coach, a young coach. He's never coached cross country before. You know, how is it going to affect my performance? And she didn't really worry about any of that. She just trained and, and did what she knew she needed to do and went to nationals and was all American. One thing I, I do remember about Sarah is whenever we had a workout for cross country, and you'd have 15 girls lined up on the line to do mile repeats or whatever the workout might be. It'd be, you know, ready, go. And Sarah was always taking off on ready. I mean, even in practice, she would not wait for me to say go. She, she just had a strong desire to win. And so she, even in a little practice session where she was clearly the most talented person on the team, she would still jump the gun a little bit because she was just wired to go and wired to win. And, yeah, very quiet confidence that she had, but she was she wanted to win all the time. I mean, that was just her nature, and she still competes today, I believe, and is is successful and and has still kept that competitive drive, you know, throughout her life.